Hey guys, uh, welcome back to part six, uh, second part of, or sorry, lesson six, part two of the uh, player melee uh, attack. And where we left off last time, I realized there was uh, an incorrect piece of code where I had said if melee right is equal to the current animation and melee left is the current animation. Now, that actually really doesn't make sense, and this is actually impossible to do. Uh, because it's impossible for you to be attacking both left and right at the same time. So what I actually meant is if melee right is the current animation or melee left is the current animation, so it's one or the other but not both at the same time, then we kill our actor. And so that you will find is going to work a lot better and that you can actually kill the uh, enemy character. Uh, instead of what we had before with the and in the middle. So make sure you change that uh, uh, and into an or instead uh, under touching enemy. Okay, so uh, one other thing I also want to mention that I didn't have time to do in the previous tutorial is you will want to set uh, the melee uh, animation hitbox so that uh, only the uh, the fist of the character uh, will uh, touch the enemy. So you want to make sure this is big enough and long enough. You also want to make sure that he's got legs, uh, that the legs also have a hitbox, otherwise he'll just fall through the world. Uh, this is what the original hitbox is like. It's a huge hitbox, so you can even attack the enemy with the uh, the the air around the, your space uh, because you're so powerful. So you probably don't really want that. And so uh, the way you would do that is you can create, uh, you can shrink this first. So you can select height and maybe shrink that to about 30. And you can, sometimes you can move this down with the up and down arrows. Sometimes you cannot. And so you have to change the X and Y positions manually. And so you can see the Y position is moving, increasing and decreasing as I'm moving my character around. Okay. So this is actually a pretty good one. Okay, you can also overlap it with additional boxes okay, or circles, and you can resize this to whatever you like. So let's say 20. You can move that over. Okay, so this could be your hitbox instead. Okay, So you will want to do that. And uh, I would also suggest that you reduce the hitbox of your character while they're standing. You want to squeeze it so that it's a little bit closer to the body. And uh, this will seem a little bit more fair. So um, even though his hand isn't touching something, um, he um, so uh, essentially, when, if he was to collide with the character, they have to move into his uh, hand and closer to his body uh, before our character actually dies. So this will make the game seem a little bit more, uh, it, it does make the game a little bit easier, but for the most part, really, it actually seems more fair. Okay, um, I'll let you guys experiment a little bit with that. Uh, you'll understand what uh, I'm talking about, but you will need to experiment and try out those differences yourself. Okay, the other thing is uh, you can also turn on the debug drawing. And when you test your game out, it'll show you those borders that uh, you can see right here. And uh, let's just maybe have a brief look before we conclude this tutorial. Oh, okay, it doesn't show in HTML5, unfortunately. Uh, if you run it in the Flash debugger, uh, it should actually show there. Uh, but I know the Flash player doesn't actually work for everyone, so um, take your own Venom uh, at your own uh, as, as you will. Okay, thank you very much, guys. See you guys next time.